hard. Hello everyone! Welcome to another Timur Rhinos video. Timur Rhinos, despite uh, being always talked as the second best cascade deck, keeps on winning. It really does. It wins Magic Online Challenges, Top 8, and it won the MTGO PTQ with 350 players going 12 and 1 in the hands of uh, Max. Um, actually, I should have probably checked the name, but Max from the Netherlands. He's uh, he's a very young uh, young guy. I met him on uh, I met him in Bologna at the last uh, uh, four seasons. I still believe the living end is better, although I'm always open to uh, try and play the decks that do very well in tournaments because I like to play what wins. I am a content creator that, lo that loves to stay on point, on time, with what's good and what's not, and what wins. The way I would be building Team Rhinos is to put Endurance in the main, as I believe Endurance is incredibly strong uh, over maybe some Bone Crusher and some Prismari Common. Although I'm usually doing that, you are worse against Hammer Time, you are worse against a turn one Ragavan and things like that. So let's just copy this list and move on. It's pretty stock, it's really pretty stock. But again, it won a super huge modern event and I am here for it. Where is it? Timur Rhinos Echoquity. Submit. Let's go. We just went uh, 4 and 1 with uh, Mono White Hammer Time. And now it's time. And now it's time for the Rhinos. Okay, join the match. Magnus 93. Alright, I don't think I can go to 5. I'm gonna keep this in, hoping to draw my cascade cards. I'll bottom the... I think I can bottom one island, yeah. Which one life and guard? I read Meza. Ooh, is that burn? That is okay. It's all right. It's not. It's not a bad matchup. It's not a bad matchup. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry your deck got nerfed. It's what it is. Dead. I think I want to ice a land because I really want to draw into my cascade cards here. Obviously, they can use the land to play Boris Charm or something. Have you ever seen uh, the flavor text? Yeah. That says, sorry I burned down your village, here's some gold. Hmm. I mean, I can't really keep on doing this life of... Uh... Of playing mediocre cards, but I guess if I don't draw the cascade spells, it, this is the reason why Living Gand I think it's better because with all the cyclers, you just draw your combo. Without them, you don't. You just draw these mediocre cards that aren't a uh, modern power level. So this game kind of confirms my reasoning for preferring Living Gand. But then again, it's a long, it's a, it's a, it's a consistent deck. It's more consistent than Living Gand, I guess. Not true. Anyway. 
There it is. 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 Is it too late? Is it too late to make rhinos? Probably. Are you at a 12? Actually, it's not too late. I can certainly have 12 damage. I have to hope they don't draw land, because if they draw land, they can go probably 7 damage. 6 damage, sorry. If they don't draw land, they need exactly double 1 minus 3 damage burn, which... It's not the I they draw land. I'm there, here. they're gonna go Searing Blades, Lava Spike, things like that. That's okay. No. Hmm. Cool, I won. Cool, I won. My opponent uh, wasn't able to deal me the last two points of damage. Very nice. Very nice! The Bion dot burst was so important. Also, the plus one plus zero is so important. Nice. Uh, okay, I'm playing as burn, baby burn. I'll bring in for Force of Vigor. Actually, I think I... Let me check. Um, Channel Fireball Cyber Guide. Remember, on CFB Pro, we have every single Cyber Guide in Modder. Updated. And if it's not updated, it will be soon. And this list has been always the same, so I'm sure that the Cyber Guide will be... Will be alright. Yeah, so we have Brazen Bar, that's not good, and Force of Vigor, that's good. I think that's gonna be an easy swap. Prismari Command isn't amazing, but it's kind of a removal as well. Let's go. No, Force of Negation is good. Yeah, it's good. Keep. Yeah, Prismary Common isn't that good. It's there because it kills the Chalice of the Void, and, uh, yeah. So that's, that's an important card. Goblin Guido. Cyber purple is half of the bottle? No, no way. Cy Cyber is like, I don't know, 10% of the bottle. 60% luck. 30% skill. 10% Cyber Guide. Should make a song about it. Okay, let's see. I don't have a great revel. Mm, okay. Mm, okay. Drop, drop. I can go what? Island, Force of Vigor? Yeah, I'll go to this card again, but I really do not care about that that much. It was great to meeting you in Malmo. Great to meet you. Are, are we playing Prison Tron? I played it last week. You can check my YouTube channel at exclamation mark YouTube. And, uh, and find out how we did with that deck. Ice. Possess you the Eidolon. Nah. 
Rift Bull suspended. Okay. Draw. Go Forest and Charles Ajant. Boom. 3 mana 10 power. Your go. Your go, Mr. Burn. Mr. Burn. Bold face, where is the place? You know where's the place? It's the face. Opponent has one card and never is Rift Bolt suspended. Where does the Rift Bolt go? Where do you go, Rift Bolt? You go on my face? On my face, okay. Two cards. I keep Force of Negation for something like, I don't know, Explosives. I, uh, they probably don't have anything to do with my tokens. But... Mangu, do you think I'll try to do in the dominant format today? Yes. Roiling Vortex. I mean, the spread this card doesn't do much. Once this is in play, I can't really force of negation anything anymore, so might as well uh Might as well kill that, right? Tu, 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 tu. Colossal Dreadmaw. Give to the sub to David2016. Thank you. Thank you so much. Alright, easy game. Playing against Burn uh, when your deck has a strong uh, game plan, it's always gonna be easy. Burn is a pretty underpowered deck. When it comes to modern, of course, you can still win if you play against four colors and similar decks, but yeah. Ooh, some more gifted sub. Thank you, Colossal Dreadmore Keeper. Thank you so much for gifting to Spitfrog and Nuka. Hola, Filippa. You want to know my socials? That's good. Maybe I should have a, I should have a comment that says my socials. I'll I'll do that later. Woo! <laughs> Lots of support. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Very good end. I mean. I don't know how good is the Zand plop 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 Because we don't have the Cascade spell, but still lots of interaction. Lots of interaction. Thank you so much again for all the eight gifted sub. Oops, the failure, Rafael Dia, Magic Marshall, Serum Olo, and Hermano. Welcome. You can now use the lasagna emotes around whenever people ask you about what's your favorite food. You can answer lasagna without ketchup. You're surprised that a Rhino deck does well. Well, I mean, it's a powerful deck. In modern, like, honestly, any deck could do well. The, the There's no police like it is in Legacy or in other formats. Or I guess in Historic before Cat Nerf. So, it's like really open. Is there a recent deck list of my Vivian combo? Yes. You can go to the Card Market YouTube channel 
and you found uh, and you find uh, the the video that I made with them. I'm gonna soon record it for um, my YouTube channel as well. Sage nerf in historic? Nah, historic so was so boring. It's been the same decks for 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 months. I mean, it wasn't that boring because. You know, we were still testing for the PT and stuff like that. But if you had to, like, play a historic format for fun uh, in the bathroom and you played against Katoven, it was the worst. Okay, playing against Amulet seems like. Vini Fino, thank you. Thank you for the second month. Lots of support today. I appreciate all of you, chat. All of you. Okay, this is a matchup why we have the Bloodman for. I can't besage you this saga, should I do that? You forget you're in COVID? Yeah. Do Mango, where would you even find the lasagna with ketchup on it? In Sweden, in Sweden, that's where I found it. Okay, uh, do I want to get- so if I get rid of the saga, they can't get, um... Bow chat. I don't know. I don't think I can because this is my third land. I was really supposed to tap something. Yeah. Hope I'm feeling better. Mm, why? Oh, you mean again, Armando? Yeah, I hope so too. In Asia, you'll find spaghetti with ketchup on it. Yeah, I think if you put. I don't know. Whatever. Let's not get into the ketchup talk, but it's just the worst. Not going very well for your friend Pepango chat. I can tell you as much. Is that a word? Yeah. My hand is just honestly I mean I, I know I said it already before, but this is the reason why I think Rhinos is a bad it's like no it's not a bad it's not a bad deck. So I mean Okay, so right, let's get this straight. Rhinos is not a bad deck, Rhinos is a good deck. But I don't think it's a tier one deck. And the reason is this. Like, look at my hand. It's full of freaking shocks. Not everybody plays Ragavan or Esper Sentinel in this format. I can't play four, five shocks in hand. Be like, oh, you should have mulligan. No, I don't mulligan. I have three lands for spells. If I mulligan three lands for a spell in hand, it means that my deck is bad. I mean, I tap a land. Like... I can't Bozeji, I'm just gonna leave up Bozeji for the Bounce Land. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep up Bozeji for the Bounce Land. Like, my opponent next turn just kills me. Like, that killed me. I'm sure they killed me next turn. So I have to keep up the, the, the bounce land for, sorry, the Bozeji for the bounce land. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I could have left a land on top in case they don't go for it. I have Prismari Common to kill this, but they have to. With this being said, this deck hedges against the Merktide decks, the, you know, the decks where the shocks are actually good. But, and then you sideboard out, you sideboard the shocks out. And you have Blood Moon, you have Force of Vigor, so this matchup clearly gets much worse for Cyborg. And that's often the case for Amulet Titan. Whoa! And after gifting 8 sub, you subscribe yourself. Thank you, Colossal Dreadmore Keeper. I really appreciate the support. You know what I don't appreciate? I'm a Titan player thinking five minutes on every turn. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. You take your time. I have my chat. First, Tribute. Welcome to as well, another gifted sub.
Tu, tu, tu. I really wish I played this untapped. I could have pressed Mari Kaman instead of using Bozeju. The two life obviously didn't matter. You wanna play Steel Shaper's Gift? Yeah, he could. They can't even get uh, castle, castle, uh, what's it called? Uh, the castle card, the castle gear and break and cast the uh, Titan next turn. Armor time is better than Rhino's? Uh, I think it's... There's no, there's no standings on those things. In modern, it has like ten decks that are, that are tier one, I think, and nothing, and nothing goes above it. You only do, you'd only do standings for the clicks and uh, and the articles, but otherwise everything is good. Calls a dread more keep on gifting sub. Thank you, thank you. Keeps on gifting subs. Okay, so my opponent can go Titan next turn, although they don't have a amulet. Hannibal, welcome to the third month of sub. Okay. So I have now a board state that's lethal next turn and they could cast, I mean they could, they will cast Titan. Although Titan without uh, Amulet isn't as good. I guess my opponent just didn't have uh, a bounce land in the key turn. Where are they casting? The beast? That's That's a mistake. Yeah, they're gonna undo everything now because they floated mana. <laughs> More! Madonna mia! You're in a rush, my friend. Thank you. I have nothing to say about it. Thank you so much, Good Cause of Dreadmo. So many new people with the sub badge now. Huh, crazy. Crazy, crazy. Thank you, thank you. All right. Guess we win. I guess we win. Despite having a bunch of shocks in end, we still got there. Hello, Mr. Mengucci. You're better spelling. It's okay. <laughs> I'll pass you that. I'll pass you that. I'll pass you misspelling my name, Colossa Dreadmo. I love how you gifted like 20 subs and you never wrote a message before. Can I ask you a question? Yes, you have the right to ask you a que to ask me a question. Okay. Let's go. Bruno, you also sub. That's a, that's a lot of hype here today, huh? I am going to keep. I have every color: forest, island, and mountain for the blood moon, and then I have force of negation too.
Cavern of Sauce. Amulet of Vigor. Let's force this. Let's force this, why not? Ooh, crushing footfalls. That's actually a good draw. I don't mind this game. This in post cyber games, I don't mind suspending uh, the footfalls. You came here to find someone. Can you guess who it is? I can't. Thank you, draw my lands. Thank you, thank you. Wow, so much support. Thank you, thank you. Okay, map and sanctuary. All right. Thank you so much. Lots of uh, lots of support today. All right, they got Simi Grow Chamber. Sure, no blood, no Urza Saga. I guess my Blood Moon is fearful. Is that a grazer? It is. Girl, they have five cards. Fury. I can't cast the borrower because I don't have double island, but it's what it is. Can you convince Andrea to guess my real name? Ooh. Your your real name. What's your real name, Colossal Dreadmill Keeper? Adam, could be. Louis. Okay. All right, very good draw. Violent outburst. No, 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 it's not, it's not. It's not. Okay, that's six mana, so they can cast the thing. They can cast the thing. I don't think I'm gonna win this game. Titan, sure. All right, tell us more, Gavin. Can we help you? Sure. Well, uh, we are here. Primeval Titan. What do you do there? They can't. They don't have the Titan, so they can't give it haste. But I can get like double saga. Footfalls, tokens on top with the outburst. Two more tokens coming in since I suspended a footfalls on turn one, so by turn five. I got two rhinos, draw. I would love to draw a, either a land or a red card so I can kill the titan if they block. I'm gonna attack regardless. You want to ask me a job? You want to offer me a job? Thank you, but uh... Right now... I feel good with uh, with what I do for a living, but I appreciate the request. Will I? Oh, you want me to beat you in magic? Hey, that's tough because we need to meet to do that, right? Or do you want to play on Magic Online? All right, it's just, they do that. Oh, do they? Oh, they have the ah, they have explosives. 
Yeah, I don't think I could have done anything about it. Yeah, explosives. Pretty bad. Bye bye, random tokens. Mm -mm. I got a mountain, yeah. Bounce the Titan, cast this, and then you know what? I feel like I'm top deck in a Blood Moon. I have this feeling. I got this feeling. Blood Moon? No. Hmm. Gonna play Fury and just simply attack with it next turn. Not really winning this game. Colossa Dreadmaw. I will, um, for now. I refuse your, your offer. But if we ever meet in a paper event. You are very welcome to come up to me. And we can maybe play a game there. But I'm not. I'm not at the moment taking a flight to play magic with you. But I. Re I accept. Uh, I, I. I. Okay. I think I'm dead. Maybe not. <sighs> That's twelve damage. I think it's game over. Good game. Let's go to game three. Brazen Bar, is it a good card? I don't think it is. Hmm. I'm just gonna run this back. Maybe it's possible that a Bone Crusher, just like a good old 4-3, is better than the Borrowers. Nah, Borrowers are better. Yeah, let's go. Is Mystical Dispute good? Just a bad mana leak in this matchup, maybe. You were supposed to take out this. Is this not even remotely playable? I don't think it is actually. All right, this is much better. This is the list that Max, Max won the Super Qualifier. Yes, indeed. So you're a Titan main. It was felt the Cascade was a super easy matchup. Sure, I mean uh, Titan players think that every matchup is super easy, so that doesn't surprise me at all. I've never heard a Titan player say that they had a tough matchup. Can Borrow bounce an amulet? Nah, it sucks. Bouncing has historically been bad. It's only good when you like have a race or something. Here, it's just because, I mean, it's a blue card for force. Okay, so this one has to deck a forest. So in order to go ice, I have to play Brain Pool on turn one. And this also could have taken an island, I guess. No, I think forest is better. No, listen, chat. Have you ever heard an Amulet Titan player say that they have a bad matchup? And this is a thing since, I don't know, 2016, 15, ever. Since Amulet was invented... The player that only play Amulet and said that they have zero bad matchup. Yet Amulet, you know, doesn't win as much as it should according to them. Uh, do I go for Island? Hmm. No, I think I go for Forest. Yeah. Forest here. Okay, amulet players are the best and never lose unless when they get unlucky. I see. This is this makes sense. Yeah. But that's mostly magic players. They never lose unless when they get unlucky. Uh 
ice. Have you ever have you ever saw the chart that's like kind of uh, describes the the magic player? It's very cool. It's like um, it's like a chart like this, and it's like here. So this is the level of confidence. This is confidence, and this is a skill. No, sorry. Yeah, this is confidence, this is skill. So at the beginning, so you have the, 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 the PTQ grinder, and they're super confident. And as the skill grows, they lower their, their confidence. And then as they, they get better and better and better, of course, the, the confidence grows. But from here to here, it's, it's a long trip. It must be the Amulet Titan players are all here, I don't know. Nah, no, not, for sure not, but... All right, I go. Play Blood Moon and hope they don't have Force of Vigor. The curve is inverted? Okay, I hope you understood it. Where are you on the curve? I, 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 am, at the, I am at the top. So I think my confidence is high and my skill is high. Okay, second forest. Draw. This one doesn't fetch. That's okay, I can just cast Fury next turn. I mean, I'm sure you can find a link that explains that a little bit better. Okay, I can get them more forests. <laughs> Furio! That's the reason why I play that uh, Blood Moon so hard, so light heart. Because of the fury. Can't get Bozeju. That's true, Shitori. I forgot about Bozeju. Yeah, they can't get Bozeju. Ay ay ay, that's bad. What did I get? Forest. I guess they also didn't think about Bozeju. Hatch out. You think they also didn't think about Bozeju? It's not lethal into attacks, unfortunately. And I can't cast my cards. They probably have Bozeju in the end. Maybe. Because yeah, Bozeju gives me the option to play Borrower with the island. Hello, what does Blood Moon do? Easy. Non basic lands or mountain? Oh, in end? No, no, no. In end remains a, a, a Bozeju with channel ability. All in play. It works only for lands that are in play. They maybe cut it? Yeah, you can easily cut Bozeju from your Amulet deck. It doesn't seem like a good card at all. <laughs> Honestly, Bozeju is the reason why people play Magus instead of Blood Moon. No, of course they didn't cut Bozeju chat. I mean, they just got Forest. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt and that they have Bozeju in hand, okay? It's called Dunning-Kruger Effect. Let's see. Dunning Kruger Effetto.
Wow, that's a perfect. I guess this is in Italian. Let me write directly. Wow, there's a, oh, I did I actually didn't know that. I thought it was just no confidence, competence. I did it right. I said confidence and skill. I did it right. Chat doubted me. None. I'm so great. I know nothing. I'm pretty good, but know my limitations. See? That's exactly what I was explaining. Anyway, they besieged you my blood moon. I never saw it coming. Yes. Let's get basic island. And they valicate no 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 don't do these things to me opponente don't do these things to me my fury you want to kill get out what's your life total Eight, 14 can I draw an outburst I want to pump my creatures another fury instead e va bene e allora to barabam take this you too and then barabam take this Go. I got my brazen borrower coming in. Mango, what did I say? Bada bam. Yeah. What is that in English? It's just in exclamation. Do they kill me with uh, Land Titan? They get Vesuva. Quanti è? 9 per 2, 18. Cazzo, I die! Oh, if they go land titan, I die! No! That's fine. I'll die. I accept... Uh, I accept defeat. I accept them feet. Did you know, Chad, that I bought this charger in the Copenhagen airport for 56 American dollars? It's a 20 watt charger, though. It, it fully charges your phone in like less than an hour. Totally worth the 56 dollars that I paid for. And okay, what did I do? They play Boris Garrison. Okay. Wait, no, they played Vesuva. Oh, they had Vesuva in hand, so they couldn't kill me. Maybe, I don't know. E okay. Oh, they both face. Uh huh. And then they play Forest. They bolt face and then they go Titan. Yeah. Okay, GG. Well played, well played. Why am I spending American dollars in Denmark? Kevlarmon, I explain you this concept. There's a thing called credit card. And uh, if you go to a country with the different currency than euro for example you can use your credit card and decide to spend a all right that's 12 damage gg decide to spend the currency that you, that, that your credit card is uh, registered on i actually didn't have those as well all right good game i'll take a bathroom break and i will resume asap with uh, the timur rhinoceros
Play League Match. Okay, let's join. Good end. This is a good end. We got our shocks. We got the card. Ooh, playing against. This deck has become so popular lately. Okay. Uh, I think I can just go top land. Uh, they don't have any two drop. No apocalypse fire and ice. Yeah, I don't spend money on magic online cards. I already spend way too much money on magic online cards. I could force the brand, but I don't know. I think that I shouldn't really bother too much about it. Hello, Colossal Dreadmo. How is it going? Draw, draw, draw. Uh, do I have any play available? Nope. You go. Mm hmm. Lego Shock Face. I mean, I know it sucks. Nah, I probably just gotta try him. And... No, I guess I have Force of Negation. Next time I'm gonna tap out for Shardless. I honestly just. Uh... Yeah, I don't. <sighs> I don't want to go shock face. It doesn't. It doesn't seem. It doesn't seem like a reasonable play. I'll go Charles here since I have force for the creativity, and I need to apply pressure. They can go Dwarven Mine, Creativity, we go Force Pitch Borrower. Hmm. 10, yeah. Teferi. Well, I can't resolve. It could have pitched a command. I don't know. It's so nice to just play a deck that doesn't care about Ran and Six. It really is very nice. Okay, easy peasy. Force of Negation just makes all the draw so much better. I don't know about Dispute, I guess I have to, right? Because they have Teferi, they showed me Teferi. I mean, I have all my bad cards to take out anyway. I'll leave the command because it's a blue card. Maybe Borrower is worse? No, it's a blue card. I guess I can have uh, the command. Fury also is not great, but it kills the fairy if they take it down. Alright, let's go with this. Yeah, it's really nice to play a deck that doesn't care about random ticks. This is how, this is how, like, in deck building, if you play, if, if a card is very good and people play that card a lot, I mean, not, not that it's, it's not Ren and Six example, because very few deck play Ren and Six, but if a, de if a card is very good, building a deck that's, like, that doesn't suffer that card is, is great. I remember when Ren and Six was in Legacy, and it was obviously very good because of the, the, 
because of the combination with um, Wasteland. There was two types of decks, the random six decks and the decks that didn't care about uh, Wasteland, which were like the combo decks. So it wasn't great and they banned random six after like three months or something. Just right before, uh, right before P GP Bologna. Although I do have a picture of a deck with Oko and Brandon Six in the same deck in Legacy. <laughs> Definitely a, you know, a picture that will uh, remain in the history of the strongest Legacy decks. I'll uh, keep on believing that I don't care about Ren and Six. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. They took a land untapped. Narset. I don't think I care about Narset, right? I mean, my deck doesn't draw extra cards. Wow, you already never seen Arset in Modern. Days and doing. True. What explosives? So they don't play the creativity. They force this. So they don't play creativity, right? They can't play creativity and then explosives in the deck. Unless they don't know how the cards interact with each other. I think I should force this. I mean, my deck has like. Ah, I should have fetched. That was a punt. That was a punt. Anyway, let's see how this goes. No Bozaju? No, because then they might get a land that isn't a mountain, you know? My plan is to go Blood Moon. I mean, Rhino 6 is gonna emblem soon. I just hope that since they don't have fetch lands, it's not that devastating. Yeah, I should have definitely had Island because now I can't cast my double blue cards. That was that was a big that was a big 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 punt. They got what card? Tamio, collector of things. Do I attack Ren or do I just go face? I think I'll go face. Yeah, it's only bad if they have like a shock effect, like a Bone Crush or Fire Ice, so they with Ren they can kill Fury. But Fury will give them a three turn clock, so I think it's bad to go face there. Jason <laughs> Zero. Okay. They clearly don't have. Creativity in the deck. Maybe they have Transmogrify, that's what they have. And they can actually Transmogrify the, the Chalice. No, that's not true, what am I talking about? Never mind.
weird game, but I mean, it's what it is, right? Sometimes, uh, deck does this. Just play Blood Moon and the opponent mana base is bad. What a great match this was. Eh, I don't think so, but. I still don't understand my dad. I'm opponent in deck, honestly. I played Blood Moon in my old school deck, but it was terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. People just have basics and moxes. Also, I have a bad mana base. Whoa. Hmm. I just go for. Jenson Cavern. Yeah, let's keep this in. It's not great, but I have a cavern. And it's legendary, so you can't go for a double. Don't don't think about doing that. <laughs> the hand is not good, I know, but I mean I'm not drawing my cavern and pitch and a mulligan, you know what I mean? Yeah, problem with this deck is that not it's not fun at all. Well, um, fun is uh, how do you say um, subjective? I can understand it's not fun, but on my channel I display decks that are winnings, that are winning decks. I'm not the type of guy that plays uh, the Celestial here in Ujin's Conjuring deck. Draw the Moto Bug, one of the oldest bug of Magic Online. Crozza. Okay. It's always nice to receive a Crozza by the Red Black Midrange deck. Stonk. Yeah, I'll play the bone crusher gene. Colossal Dreadmont. I am very happy that you are supporting the stream a lot. But um I prefer keeping uh the deck choices to myself, you know, despite all of the support that you did. Again, I'm very thankful for that, but I prefer to play to play my own decks. And uh, if you enjoy and you want to subscribe, I'm thankful. But uh, there's no pressure for you to do anything. Three mana for a season pyromancer. Unfortunately, dodging force of negation. Discarding bolt and black lip cliff. Our opponent is about to cut me. Should I play borrower here? I think so. The stop. Uh, maybe not, because the opponent's next turn is gonna play Kroxa. No, I think I still have to. I think I still have to. Okay, this can bounce the Kroxa. Why don't you force the bolt? I don't know, because I think they have more removal spells and I don't want to play force there. I'm gonna hold the dead gone to bounce crooks out. Although, of course, I'm not winning this game. I need a cascade spell now. I need a cascade spell now. Cascade spell now. All right. The variance, of course, is uh, high in those uh, in those decks that don't have to draw a card in order to be good. 
Uh, red, black, don't decide anything. Uh, yes, I'll side in the endurances. I'll take out the force of negation. Easy. Okay, the opponent's playing a Red Black Mage Range. Red Black Mage Range is a deck that, um, while it doesn't get as much love as uh, Blue Red Merc that are great in Shadow, it still puts up result. It uh, came second in the Malmo Open that, we, that I covered last weekend. I also made a 5 0 trophy with a Grief uh, Black Red list that came second in a uh, challenge. Sandro, thank you, Sandro. I appreciate the prime sub. Welcome, welcome. All right, this end is a good end. I'm happy with it. Let's go, breeding pool. Suspend the crashing footfalls. Your go. They'll go discard spell. I mean, obviously, I'm most likely not having any copy of these uh, cascade spell next turn. He might have double blue, so I don't mind that thing going island, uh, ice, your land here. Hopefully another, another discard spell. Okay, Otawara, it's... Ooh, Urborg. E, they have it. Okay, I got nothing. I got nothing. Bro. Nice. The life of the Discord spell deck. I get a mountain. I'll play outburst. Drop. Attack, attack. Face Liliana. Go. When has four cards, you know, see if they have an explosives or stuff like that. Engineered explosives would be really bad. Lilian of the Veil, vale. okay. We should so Kenzen. All right, we have to hope no explosives now. I don't have force of negation, so if opponent has the explosives, they will. Uh, they will be hard for me to deal with. I'm attacking Liliana here, despite um, she doesn't do much. She can tick up, so I don't want to play this Otawara. And then if opponent handles some more rhinos, she can uh, kill that rhino.
Is this deck actually good or just a meme? <laughs> no, there's no meme about these two decks. It's uh, they're both uh, some of the best uh, choices you can think. They discarded Void Mirror. Yep, too late for Void Mirror. Drop. Yuri. Yes, we win. Gonna go to game number three. <laughs> and I'll be on the draw. I stand by my side boarding. Yes. Let's go. On the draw against the Ragavan deck, it's where you needed uh, the dead gone. Baron 261, thank you for the prime sub, welcome. Aren't keeping every hand against that deck. Every hand that has lands and spells. What paper modern decks do I have? I try to own literally every Magic the Gathering card in the world, so I would like to say every deck. Although I do not own uh, Yagmoth, that's the only deck that I do not own, I think. Totsies, okay. <laughs> Thought sees taken outburst. Okay. Let's start suspending these. I don't know about suspending uh, all of them at the same time. Maybe you want to do one at a time. Just, just like take some turns between. You want to take a, some. Some time between them because the way the explosives engineer would work. Yeah. I'm gonna go for a blue green land here. Then I'll upkeep ice the mountain, not a swamp. How do I organize my cards? Colors? And then uh, rare. On the side and uncommon and common at the end, and then mana cost. Not alphabet because, um, as an Italian pl per player, I have a lot of Italian cards, so alphabet wouldn't really work. But I do mana cost. Mana cost. So first color, then rarity, then mana cost. Hmm. Not too bad, Liliana here, because this survives one attack of endurance. Trium and then I'll play Endurance to leave to um, leave the 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 Corsa. Weird that they kept in Lightning Bolt, but I guess it kills uh, some things. Drop. I'm gonna empty my hand now. I'll uh, cast. Sorry, I'll suspend footfalls. Actually, do I want to cast Bone Crusher or just uh, um, shoot Liliana down? Hmm. I think I'll cast Bone Crusher. No cards in hand. I don't care about Liliana that much. Yagamut wins a lot on MTGO for being a bad deck. I agree. I agree with that. Wait until they pick up to cast. No, come on. Don't expect to always play a against a bad deck, a bad opponent. Let's play the play the crusher there. Push on my end ones. Okay. You also kill my crusher. If they do, it's bad because then they have a Liliana, which I can't uh, uh, kill, and then they're gonna I edict my footfalls. But then they would have just... Okay, never mind. It didn't matter. Yep. Okay, so I lose my Crusher. I have no cards in end, but I have a Footfalls coming in this turn. Suspended on turn 1. Comes down on turn 5. Draw. Mm, Want to keep it in end? I think so. Maybe they took up. I don't know.
Turak not kicked? Crazy, why would you do that? Did you punt? Probably. Drop. Let's attack, uh, I think one and one. Or I can just ignore Liliana. Nah, let's, let's not ignore a Planeswalker. How do I feel about that shadow? It's a good deck. It's a good deck. Weird block? What's going on here? I don't understand. I have no clue of what's happening. I'll just uh, play my at cards and attack with my 4-4 four, four trample creatures. Oh, okay. Now it makes sense. Sure. Opponent has no cards in hand. I could have just kicked the Turak. Maybe they misclicked. Alright. What did I draw? Ooh, a dashed Ragavan. Okay. This could be anything. They could be anything. Could be a Brazen Borer or a Dead Gone to bounce my Rhino token. That would be bad. Or it could be a land, for example. Cook to rock would be a 3-2, though. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Then, I guess opponent played uh, played well for the cards that they had, which weren't very good. To rock and bolt don't strike to me as good cards in this matchup at all. Alright, what'd you hit? Wow, you actually did it, a prison borrower. Ma porca puttana. Hey, I guess you bounced my rhino token. At least I can't cast the, the borrower side because that costs two blue. But wait, I can in two turns. And now I need to top deck. No, I am in top deck mode. I called it. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. This is on their side, it's not on my side. Gonna fetch to thin deck thinning over here. Our deck is now very thin. Draw spell, please. Spell, please. Va bene, va bene, va bene. Go. That kills the Ragaban. Then next turn, I have two rhinos coming down. You see how strong it is to suspend. You just suspend them. Don't you worry. These games go long in this matchup. I don't know why it's slugging so much, but it is. A dash Ragaban in combat phase, I'll uh, dead it. I'll dead it. That's not proper English. Dead. Dead. Gone bounces, but crush, yeah, but it can't cast Barber, any double blue. Alright, two Renos. Okay, opponent is still Elbent. I have two Renos. Drop. Ooh. Bone Crusher G. I'm gonna stonk your face, and then I'm gonna. Boom, boom, ba, poof, poof, poof. Dead the monkey. Close match, of course. I mean, this is a top deck mode match because your opponent discards your spell, then you have to drop deck, so. It's always close match against these Totsies decks. Because if you draw bad after they Totsies you, you lose. So. In a surprisingly turn up event, in order to win games of magic, you have to draw well. Who would have thought? Last match for the Rhinos. Ooh, opponent's four and oh, says MTG bot. Ooh, nice hand. And by that I mean I got a gemstone cavern. It's very strong. I think I'm gonna pitch the borrower. Keep. I'm gonna pitch the borrower to it. Exile. Huh? I, want, I love to suspend the food falls. I mean, it obviously depends on the matchup. If it's burn, 
then it's bad to suspend the, 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 the food falls. Let's not bounce the goblin guide. What's on top? Cascade card. Alright, land is fine. I need cascade cards. Cascade cards! Hello? Cascade cards! Where are you, cascade cards? Why don't you show up at Mangus door? What's on top? Brazen Borrower. I don't want it. Thank you, though. Should I play Prismari Command? Or should I take the damage and play Fury? Prismari Command, I think it's good here. Yeah, I'll play Prismari Command. Tos Daño and Loot. Hmm, okay, not the worst. I'm getting rid of land footfalls. Bit 13. Elix phase, main phase 1, okay. Shardless Agent. Very good, very good. Okay, the question is now, do I want to... Fetch. I don't think I want to fetch. I do not think I want to fetch. I want to stay at 10 life. The Goblin Guide is not really irrelevant. 7. 4. 1. Good thing I didn't fetch. <laughs> Our opponent has 0 cards in hand. I'm so close to win! I can Fury the Goblin guy, pump my team, they go to 1. It's okay, I'm only attacking with uh, the two Rhinos. And passing the turn. Now I have Force of Negation to counter a spell. They have against two burn deck with this deck. Pretty unlikely. Monastella. Okay. Alright. GG. Let's bring in the Force of Vigor for the Brazen b -b 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 Borrower. Hmm. Yeah, Brazen Borrower doesn't sound great. Oh, that's a blue car for fours. Hey, Bone Crush your Giant's bad. Nah. Yeah, maybe. I guess it pitches to Fury. Alright, let's do like a split. So many subs today. Ave Ain Fuck Dirk. Thank you for the Prime sub. Welcome to the Timo Rhinoceros stream. Hopefully we're gonna get double four one today. That would be nice. Playing good decks, getting four ones. Nice. Reveal force of vigor on top. Okay, I'm going to Fury. I feel like I'm on the draw and I can get a card disadvantage. I have Force of Vigor for the um, Eidolon and also the Bone Crusher. Force is also for the Rolling Vortex. Fury again and pass. 
I could suspend the footfalls, but I don't think it's worth it. Okay, they suspend a Rift Bolt. And they play a Lava Spike. I'm gonna stomp you because if I draw a red, uh, a land, I can cast the Bone Crusher. Draw. There it is. Let's go for a, 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 a Island because I have Force of Negation in my deck. Why for Force of Negation against Burn? Because they play a burn spell. And you want to counter the last one. Red and white, lining elix. Okay. I'm at six, they're on 18, but they only have one card in hand. If I draw a shadow sage now. Very nice, Mango. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Next turn I'm lethal. So opponent uh, obviously can go bolt end of turn on top thing, but if they don't, then we kill them. Very nice. All right, see if they have a bolt. No. Could I skew the critics? Uh, Goblin Guido. Okay, not dead. They're not dead. Actually, because of the Elix, they weren't dead anyway. I'm at three against burn. Oh, oh, Ole! All right, GG. That's um, uh, that's the burn life. That is the burn life indeed. I think on the play I want this back. I don't want to cut the borrower. Let's go. Okay. Last game of today. And then uh, I think I want to build the Splinter Twin for the modern no ban list match of tomorrow against uh, Canister. Huh. <laughs> Not not the best draw, but okay. Charlotte's agent do the thing. Remember, this is legendary. I still think that you shouldn't take it out. I don't know. This deck wants 24 lands. Drop. Let's attack with all. Cool crack. Charles trades with Swiss Spear unless they have a lightning bolt, which they don't. They could have a uh, engineered explosives, although that's very unlikely. Okay, double four one this morning. Good stuff, good stuff. Turns out that when you play the good decks, you do earn chesties. And when you play the bad decks, 
You don't? Thank you, thank you for watching.